Hello everyone, and welcome to my bold and beautiful channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Brooke blunders, Sheila overhears Hope's feelings for Finn. The bold and the beautiful B&B spoilers for Monday, June 17th, state that Brooke Logan, Catherine Kelly Lang, brought some soup to the cabin for Beth Spencer, Jordan Linariza, who was sleeping in her room. That provided Hope Logan, Annika Noel, the opportunity to provide updates on John Finn Finnegan's, Tanner Novlin, visit to assist Beth with her flu symptoms. Brooke recognized her daughter was actually in love with Finn after hearing how much Hope gushed about him. Hope admits to thinking about Finn and complaining about the way Steffi Forrester, Jacqueline McInnes would, treated him. However, Hope eventually persuaded Brooke that she'd put an end to her sentiments before they spiraled out of control. Despite the commitment made on Monday's BNB episode, Hope couldn't stop thinking about Finn after Brooke left. Finn accosted Sheila Sharp, Kimberlyn Brown, in I.L. Giardino when she was looking at wedding photos with Deacon Sharp, Sean Cannon. Finn was furious since one of those pictures had been shared to the restaurant's account, leaving him with a lot of explaining to do. Finn pointed out that he had only attended the wedding by chance, but Sheila insisted that everything happens for a reason. Although Sheila hoped Steffi could open the door just a bit, Finn made it clear that this was not going to happen. Steffi did not want Finn to have a connection with Sheila. Therefore he insisted on following his wife's desires. Steffi protested to Ridge Forrester, Torsten K., at Forrester Creations about Hope's influence on Finn, noting that she was now practically best friends with Sheila. Ridge agreed that Hope shouldn't be influencing Finn about his real mother, and when Finn came Ridge urged him to avoid Sheila. After Ridge left, Finn told Steffi that he went to Sheila to tell her she needed to keep her distance. Steffi appreciated it, but she was also concerned about Finn sending contradictory signals and giving Sheila the incorrect impression. Steffi voiced concern again now that Hope was involved, but Finn assured her not to worry. Finn pulled Steffi into an embrace and promised her that Hope would not be a problem for them. Despite Finn's forecast, Steffi appeared worried as he held her in his arms. Back at I.L. Giardino, Sheila complained to Deacon about how she felt she might have a great future if Steffi wasn't in the way. Brooke also paid Deacon a visit and intimated that she wasn't delighted with many of Hope's recent moves. Deacon pressed Brooke to explain what she meant, so she vowed him to secrecy and admitted that Hope had inappropriate feelings for Steffi's husband. Brooke informed a distraught Deacon that nothing had happened between Hope and Finn, but she still appeared uneasy. Brooke revealed that Hope and Finn had spent a lot of time bonding over their shared support for Deacon and Sheila. As a joyful Sheila continued to listen close, Brooke stated that Hope believed Steffi should not kick Sheila out of Finn's life. According to the bold and the beautiful teasers, Sheila may soon devise a matchmaking plan. Sheila discovers a shocking secret, which presents a delightfully devious solution to her Steffi problem. Bold and beautiful spoilers hint that Sheila will discover a shocking truth early this week and we can surely think of one that would play right into her hands. Last week, Brooke was left stunned when Hope revealed that she was developing love for none other than Steffi's husband Finn. Given the ongoing tensions amongst the stepsisters, the situation is perilous. While Brooke warned her daughter to get herself together before the matter spiraled out of control, it appears the ship has sailed. Hope went from mooning over Finn while he massaged her pressure points to fantasizing about stripping him naked, and sexing him up when he paid a visit to the cabin. Dr. Finnegan may have been there to treat Beth's flu, but Hope was left yearning to play doctor. As Hope's crush intensifies, trouble looms. How much worse could it be if the wrong person found out? In a nutshell, it has the potential to significantly escalate Steffi and Hope's antagonism. But the true danger is that in the wrong hands, such a secret may be weaponized. So, how does all of this relate to Sheila? We'll tell you. If Deacon's wife discovered that his daughter was aching for her beloved doctor's son, it would be a dream come true. Sheila believes that Steffi is the only thing standing in the way of a genuine relationship with Finn. At this point it could even be the truth but that's irrelevant. Sheila's affection for her kid is in doubt because Steffi has proven to be an impenetrable barrier thus far. She can't say or do anything against Finn's wife without alienating him further, thus her options are limited, too soon. But what if the solution to her Steffi problem dropped into Sheila's lap, allowing her to avoid dealing with her daughter-in-law? It doesn't take a genius, or even a wicked mastermind like Sheila, 
to realize how Hope's terrible secret would play directly into the hands of her new stepmother. If or should we say when? Sheila finds Hope's affections for Finn, Steffi's marriage will be jeopardized. Sheila can use the information to manipulate Steffi's marriage by bringing her and Deacon's offspring together, or creating the appearance of an affair. Sheila will be able to wash her hands of the annoying Forrester once Finn and Steffi have split up over his involvement with Hope, and she will be left with her own ready-made family. It would be the most pleasurable method to defeat her foe, and far cleaner than shooting her and leaving her to die in an alley. In addition, she'd be able to brag indefinitely. Secrets and scandals abound in the glittering yet perilous world of Forrester creations, waiting to erupt and send shockwaves through the lives of its main people. Brooke Logan, ever the protective mother, was once again caught up in a rapidly developing catastrophe. Her daughter Hope, who was already preoccupied with complicated relationships and familial obligations, had become increasingly close to Steffi Forrester's husband, Finn. What started out as benign support sessions had evolved into something far more dangerous, a profound unspoken attraction that neither Hope nor Finn could totally deny. Brooke, seeing her daughter's perilous path, felt it was time for a serious talk, seeking to lead Hope away from making a mistake that may ruin numerous lives. Brooke's exquisite office at Forrester Creations served as the backdrop for this vital conversation, which was full with memories and recollections of her turbulent yet passionate existence. Brooke stood behind her desk and watched Hope pace uneasily, her daughter's internal turmoil evident in every uneasy movement. Brooke knew she had to tread cautiously. One incorrect phrase could push Hope deeper down a path she desperately wanted to avoid. Hope? Brooke began, her voice calm yet forceful. I know things have been complicated recently, especially with what's been going on between you and Liam, but I need to know what's going on between you and Finn. Hope stopped pacing and stared at her mother her eyes filled with shame and indignation. Finn had always been close to her, and she appreciated his calm manner and genuine interest in her issues. But recently their interactions had taken on a distinct tone, with unspoken comments and lingering glances. Hope struggled to find the appropriate words to express her feelings without totally revealing the depth of her emotions. Mom, Finn has been a great friend, Hope replied, selecting her words carefully. He was there for me when I needed someone to talk to, but that's all it is, friendship. Brooke was not convinced. She'd noticed how Hope looked at Finn, how her eyes lit up when he was near. Brooke understood that it was more than simply friendship. She leaned forwards, her face genuine and concerned. Hope I have been where you are today. I understand how easy it is to mistake friendship for something more, especially when you're weak. But Finn is married to Steffi and you must respect that boundary. Hope's face flushed with both frustration and humiliation. She knew her mother was correct, but the connection she had with Finn was strong. It was like a magnetic draw that she couldn't shake no matter how hard she tried. I know, Mom, Hope said, just above a whisper, but it isn't so straightforward. Finn understands me in a way Liam does not. He makes me feel seen and heard. It's difficult to just disregard that. Brooke grasped the intensity of Hope's affections for Finn as she listened to her daughter speak. This wasn't a casual crush. It was something much more serious. Brooke's heart hurt for her daughter, knowing how painful it could be to love someone who was off-limits. She needed to find a way to get through to Hope and make her understand the implications of her actions before it was too late. Hope you have to think about what this could do to Steffi, to Liam, and to yourself, Brooke begged. Acting on these feelings will cause so much destruction. Please, for everyone's sake, try to keep your distance from Finn. Give your marriage to Liam a real chance. Hope sighed, the weight of her mother's words pressing down on her shoulders. She knew Brooke was correct, but her heart was in turmoil. Before she could react, their attention was drawn to a sharp disturbance outside the office. Brooke stood up and approached the door to investigate. When she opened it, she was surprised to discover Sheila Carter standing there, her face twisted into a sneer that sent shivers down Brooke's spine. Sheila, the skilled manipulator, had overheard the whole exchange. Her thoughts raced with ideas on how she could utilize this newfound knowledge to her advantage. She walked into the office, and her presence immediately changed the atmosphere. Well, well, isn't this an interesting turn of events? Sheila replied, her tone tinged with venom. Hope is in love with Finn. Who would have thought?